First of all, attach the telescopic stock. Then you can attach the adjustable sling. And don't forget to remove the Allen key. This is useful if you're going to change the stock from right-handed to left-handed front grip at a later date. To attach the magnetic controller dock, remove the releasable zip ties by pressing in the small trigger. You should be able to then slide them free. Now you can pop the controller dock into your Quest 2 controller. It should snap down. Try and align the magnets with the little Oculus symbol. Now zip up the ties both sides and tuck the leftover bit of zip tie down into those holes. With each stock, I've included four Velcro zip ties. These are handy if you don't already have a wrap for your controller. Initially, just take off two, separate them, and then you're going to stick them back together opposite ways around. Next, take your left controller Locate that battery port, cover, and slide it off. Next you can just pop out the little wrap. You're going to push it up through underneath the ring, round the top, and then down through the loop. Taking the two Velcro ties, find out which side is the furry side. This is the side you want pressed against your hand. Take that little band and push it down through the non-furry side into the furry side. And then back up through the furry side into the non-furry side. Next you can then plug that back in, which can be a little bit tricky. The next part is to replace the battery cover. This can be a little bit tricky as some of the parts get snagged so you just have to fidget with it until it fits. And there you have it. The controller app gives you quite a lot of freedom to use the full controls, it's not too tight onto your hand. If you need to, you can adjust the sizing as well. The front controller just snaps on. You hold it like an angled foregrip and you can wrap your palm around it just to hold it very tight. The rear of the stock telescopes. This allows different lengths of stocks to adjust in game. The cheek rest is also adjustable. It's best to lay the stock down like I am in the video. This allows you to hammer your thumb and then pull up with your fingertips to release it.
then position the cheek rest how you want it and push it into locket. The front section telescopes out to adjust the distance between the controllers.